break out the pieces Fix them and make them shine I will not be defeated Because this world is mine Welcome to episode number 25 of our Pokemon Fire Red Omega Nuzlocke Challenge. Today, we are starting off here in Viridian City. You've just witnessed a grinding montage, so we're, yeah, if you don't want the team spoiled or anything, then, then go and watch the last episode before you get stuck into this one. Because, uh, yeah, in the last episode, we did all of the events on um, Three Island and everything. Uh, found Lost Dell back in Berry Far East. And uh, then at the end of the episode, managed to go out and catch a legendary. So we uh, go and check that out um, right now. Go and check that right out, out right now, and then come back to this episode because we're going to do a team recap. I've just done some grinding, like I say. Got everybody up to level 60 because I'm scared. I am scared. Uh, I, I'm still not sure if 60 is going to be enough. I really not. Like I don't know what he's going to go up to. But today we will be facing Giovanni. So. Yeah, we have got Fire Pit here, level 60 Typhlosion with Flamethrower, Rock Smash, Dig and Cut. He tried to learn Double Edge during grinding, but I wasn't wasn't a fan of that. Uh, we've got Voodoo, level 60 Banette with Shadow Ball, Nightshade, Faint Attack and Will-O-Wisp. Littlefoot, level 60 Meganium, no change there with Magical Leaf, Petal Dance, Strength and Body Slam. Totem has gone through the biggest change. Level 60 was like level 30... 
132 when I started grinding. It's going to the level 60 now with Psychic, Magical Leaf, Fly, and Extra Sensory. I had Future Sight for a little while, but then I wasn't using it, so I got I decided to go with Psychic and get Extra Sensory because I've got the PP on Extra Sensory. Uh, we've got Bruce level 60 Hitmon Lee now. Small story if you watch the grinding. We very. I thought we'd lost Bruce. I really thought we'd lost Bruce. I hit this Hitmon top. I was training on them um, on one island, doing um, the versus seeker with the black belts outside the healing spa, and I hit the hitmon top with a brick break. I'd been intimidated, so I knew I wasn't going to kill, and he busted out the counter, and I must have done exactly. Well, he, I had 141 HP at the time. I must have done exactly 70 damage because he did 140 back to me, and knocked me down to one HP, and I was like. We're not training here anymore with you, Bruce. We're just not. So, yeah, we nearly lost Bruce in grinding, but we didn't. We got Brick Break Strength, Mega Kick, and High Jump Kick. And we got Fairy, level 60 Lapras with Safe Psychic, High Speed, and Confuse Ray, whose moveset has not changed in ages, and I don't think it ever will. So, like I say, in today's episode, we're going to be taking on the Viridian City Gym. Uh, I am actually going to lead with Fairy, because... I've got confidence in Fairy. We're going to take on all of the gym trainers to get some experience, and uh, yeah, let's see what let's see what they're rocking with. Let's see what they're rocking with. So let's battle this guy. Hey, your Pokemon will cower at the crack of my whip. Please don't make my Pokemon cower. Is is he holding a lollipop? Is that an ice cream? I'm going to say it's an ice cream. We've got a Survivor here, level 50. Okay, so the Junior Trainer is level 50. Kind of makes me think that Giovanni is going to get up to level 60. So, yes, for the Junior Trainers, we are overleveled. But I think overall we will not be. Overall, we will not be overleveled. Bruce is going to come in for the Zangus, who detects straight away. That was another thing with that hit on top. He kept using detect, and it was—I think he got a triple detect on me at one point. That might have been in the last episode. It might have been in grinding. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, it, it just—it was just really irritating to train around there. So I went back to my old faithful training spot with the the Rosaliers and the Wiggly Top and. And stuff like that. We've got this karate guy here. This is the thing about Viridian City Gym is that it's supposed to be a ground type gym. But so far, oh, this Machamp scares me. We, we are going to swap out. We're going to swap into Totem. Because we could take a vital throw. Mmm, lovely. But yeah, it's supposed to be a ground-type gym. Or it always was supposed to be a ground-type gym. And it just isn't anymore. It, yeah, it just isn't. Like, we haven't faced a single ground-type yet. So I think they've sort of changed Giovanni to just be miscellaneous Pokemon. Probably going to have his Persian somewhere. I reckon he will have a ride on. But I really can't decide what he's going to have. He'll have a Nido Queen and a Nido King, I think. This guy's got five Pokemon. He leads with a Marowak. Five Pokemon leading with a Marowak. Level 53. Golem. Sturdy doesn't work like that in this jam. Sturdy doesn't work like that in this gen. Sturdy doesn't work like that in this gen. Sturdy does not... Yeah, okay. And we got a crit. That was times eight effect. <laughs> times 12 when you factor in stab. That surf was always killing. So we're finally taking on some ground types in this gym. This guy's got a decent team. Played off.
I am scared. I am scared of Giovanni. So very, very scared. And a Quagsire. We probably can't take on a Quagsire. Well, we could, but I'm not going to. Probably got water absorbed. So we're going to look up. Uh, Magical Leaf will probably kill, but we'll go for Petal Dance just to make sure. Mm. I'm also, I'm really hoping, I just, it's just occurred to me, like straight after this we are going to have to have a rival battle, I don't know if it'll be in this episode, probably not, but um, yeah, we are going to have a rival battle. And, obviously, my rival has done a number on, on me in the past in this game. He's ended the lock for me last time, so. Uh, he's always terrifying. He's always scary to fight. I don't really want to be going up against him with sort of half a team. Um... The totem's the best one to go against this. Okay, reversals. No, reversal will do nothing to totem. We won't have chance anyway. Atasushi. So yeah, we've got Giovanni and then the rival battle, and they, these are two two people that have caused us a lot of issues in this game. Giovanni and Luke have caused us the most problems. This is going to hurt. Okay, didn't do too much. I thought it was going to do a lot more than that. It's a Tauros. It's a Tauros and it's using takedown, you know, I thought... I thought it would do that a little bit more. I suppose the good news is, if we were to lose Pokemon, and I don't want to lose Pokemon, but if we were, we have got a bunch of legendaries we can go out and catch. So, if, if for example, I lost Fairy, Fairy can instantly be replaced by a, um, a Suicune once I go and catch that. It just means that, like, next episode will be a legendary hunt. Which, I don't mind doing. Nice episode might be a legendary hunt anyway. Mmm, that HP increase. Increased by five. Pseudo Wudo. Oh, let's get a little bit of experience on the little foot. Little foot might be useful against, say, like, a ride on or something that comes in. Yes, okay. Depending on what comes out here, we might need to swap out because we're stuck in Petal Dance now. Skarmory, definitely need to swap out. Definitely need to swap out. We can't do anything to a Skarmory. Nothing at all. Mill tank. Right, get in here. Get in here, Bruce. You're going to punch this cow in the face. You are going to punch this cow in the face. I, just punch it right in the order. Punch it in the order. Kind of more in the throat. More in the throat area. Good work, Bruce. Some good experience from that mill tank. The Zangoose as well. We'll, uh, we'll stay in. We'll stay in for this Zangoose. Good work, Bruce.
Our team's looking really good, though. Don't you think? So far, like, our team is really well-rounded. Um, I love the inclusion of Zatu. Zatu's a, a great poke. I'm really enjoying using Zatu so far. I know we've not really used him in, in episodes all that much yet. But during grinding, he was kicking ass. He was doing really well. Breloom. Uh, yeah, we will go straight into Totem here. I'm not risking using Fly for... Yeah, it would kill. It would kill, but I'm not risking it. I'm, I'm psychic. But if, he, if, if for some odd reason he didn't kill, then Counter would murder me. Polyrath. I could stay in with Totem. Yeah, let's stay in with Totem. Let's give him some airtime. Give her some airtime, sorry. Might not kill. Polyrath's... Well, well. He's going to say Polyrath's strong. Which it is. Okay, I think we've got one more junior trainer left to fight. And then we'll head out and go and heal. Not that we've taken a lot of damage, but we do need the PP back. Neato Queen. Beautiful. Like I say, we're, we're over-leveled for these junior trainers, but I don't think it's going to matter, because I do... I mean, what was Blaine? Blaine went up to, like, 57, didn't he? Something like that. So, yeah, we're, we're, I think we will be on par when it comes to actually facing Giovanni. Dom fam. Marsh Tom, all right. We'll, uh, we'll let a little foot handle on Marsh Tom. Uh, it makes me uh, makes me think about our, our former team, what it could be now had Pokemon not died. We could have a Swampert. We could have had a Blastoise. We could have had a Feraligatr. Oh, we did. We did have a for alligator for a while, didn't we? Yeah, we did have a for alligator. We never, we never managed to get a swamp here to a blastoise. Now you see, this kind of scares me because it's got intimidate. So, are we going to kill here? I think we will. I'm a hit on lean. holding a black belt. So. So that's big damage. All right, let's um, let's just head through and um, go and heal up. Just going to use the speed up button just to get back to the Pokemon Center nice and quickly, because we want to start this battle against Giovanni. We definitely want to start this battle against Giovanni. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared, guys. Also, level 60 that we're at now, that's about on par for what level you'd be taking on the champion in the, in the original Red and Blue. Uh, right, um... I think we'll carry on leading with Fairy. What's he been leading with? He's led with Rhyhorn before. He normally leads with a Doug Trio. Does he not? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leave a fairy. <sighs> Welcome to my hideout. It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to his former glory. Would you have found me again? So be it. This time I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. All right, Giovanni. Six Pokemon. 
He leads with a flag on, so I read well. Level 58. This is great. It means that we're right on target for levels. This is gonna hurt. Okay. Don't flinch me. Ah. And he sets up the sandstorm. Alright. So he didn't do nearly as much with that rock slide as I was expecting. Which is, so that's good. Ride on. I wonder why he's going into ride on on, on fairy here. Um, either way, we'll probably switch to Littlefoot. What's this ride on got? Oh, he's going to have rock attack, isn't he? He's going to have a, a a rock attack for for my ice type. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I'm going to make sure of the kill by petal dancing. But I'm going to switch out after this. After I kill the ride on. Ensure the kill. Ensure the kill. Thank you. Magical Leaf might not have killed. Persian. Yes, we will swap out. We're going straight into Bruce. Hopefully this Persian doesn't outspeed us. Where's my water? There it is. It's level 59. If it outspeeds us. Okay. Okay. I'm glad he missed that hypnosis. Really glad he missed that hypnosis. Because if, 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 well, I, I feel like I wasn't living a, um, a double edge. Swamp hurts here. Means little foot can come out. I imagine he's got a nice tight move. But I think Littlefoot can take one. I'm still making sure of it. I'm paddle dancing. And we outspeed, so... Ooh, and he hydro cannons. Okay. That was good damage. I... Hydro Cannon can freeze. Hydro Cannon can freeze. What? What? We've got a full restore. He's got to um, recharge this turn. I'm sure we've got a full restore. We picked one up last episode at some point. I had no idea that Hydro Cannon can freeze. So if he's using the full restore, does he still have to... Um, have to recharge? I think he does. So this one can Hydro Cannon freeze. I honestly I, I since when since when can hydro can and freeze I mean it's frozen twice now it's almost like it's a guaranteed freeze And he's not having to recharge. Okay. We got a high roll that time and kill him. Oh. He's got a T-tar. He's got a T-tar. Bruce needs to outspeed this T-tar. Yeah, Bruce has to out outspeed this T-tar and kill it. He has to. Level 63 T-tar.
I need, yeah, I need to outspeed and kill this. I need to outspeed and kill it. I do outspeed. It's quite effective. And what's his last Pokemon? A Cactan. Technically, Bruce can take it on, but we'll go into Fire Pit. Oh, of course, it's got Sand Veil. It's got Sand Veil. And that did a lot. He should be down. He should be down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Woo -wee. We managed to take on Giovanni without losing a Pokemon. Ha. It was a truly intense fight. You have won. As proof. Here is the Earth Badge. The Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level obey without question. It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon League. Also, take this TM. Consider it a gift for your Pokemon League challenge. Earthquake. TM26 contains Earthquake. It's a powerful attack that causes a massive tremor. I made it when I ran the gym here far too long ago. Hmm, we just got the TM for Earthquake. Let's have a look who can learn it. Littlefoot, Bruce, and Fire Pit. Bruce can lay an earthquake. Um, that's tempting. That's tempting. Fire Pit's already got a dig, so I'm not really going to teach it to him. Littlefoot gets by with what he's got. He's got Petal Dance and Strength for, for his decent moves. It does get walled by, like, I don't know. They, they are, there's nothing really that completely walls it. We're going to teach it to Bruce. We're going to get rid of Mega Kick. Because I hate that accuracy. In a Nuzlocke, you can't be having the 75 accuracy. He's powerful. But I'd rather have 100 power, 100 accuracy than, than that. All right, so we got eight gym badges, with um, not much in the in the way of issues with Giovanni, other than them freezes from Hydro Cannon, which I still don't understand. I still don't understand that unless Swampert's ability, unless Hydro Cannon's been changed in this game. I don't know. There's every chance of that. But with that, we are going to leave this episode off here. Um, in the next episode, we're probably going to do some legendary hunting. Because I was thinking then, like, we could do some legendary hunting now. But we might as well just have a slightly shorter episode and stay save that all for one episode. And then in the episode after that, or at the end of the next episode, depends how quickly the legendary hunts go, um, we will uh, take on our rival. So, yeah, if you're looking forward to that, then please do leave a like, comment, and subscription down below so that you do not miss any episodes of the Fire Red Omega Nuzlocke. We're coming towards the close of this F this series. Um, we've got what? Yeah, Rival. Well, Legendary Captures, Rival, Victory Road, Elite Four. So, four episodes, maybe. Four or five episodes, perhaps. I don't know. Depends how quickly we get through Victory Road and how I decide to split up the Elite Four. So, with that, we are going to leave this episode off here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Stay brave, guys. How will I sit in silence? How will I be denied? How was I born to fall? How was I born to die? I will pick up the pieces.